Malaysia initiated our movement restriction order on the 18th of March this year and has since extended the initial two-week period of MCO not once but twice. Our restrictions include and are not limited to the prohibition of mass movements and gatherings across the country including religious, sports, social and cultural activities and sanctions for Malaysians travelling abroad. However, when we compare it to initiatives taken by the United States, we can see that many of their states have been taking actions to control the spread of the virus. So, what is the reason behind the increasing rate of progression in the US? That's true, but unlike Malaysia, the United States did not initiate a national lockdown and Americans were still allowed to travel from one state to another, in which the risk of bringing the virus from hotspot areas such as New York or Seattle to a lower risk area were considered potentially high. From there, we can see how Trump stands behind constitutional principles and American values that place emphasis on personal liberty and privacy. So an aspect about government overreach. So in America, people also are always very proud of their freedom from government and the orders that are going on to close down the country is kind of seen as un-American by some. We are the owners of this state. So the alternative, it seems, would be for individuals to initiate their own voluntary social distancing. Yes, but so far from what we've seen, movements protesting against government-imposed lockdowns have been rampant in the U.S. These protests, organized by conservative groups, prioritize the economic and social impact of the lockdown. A report by the Washington Post shows that even Trump himself encourages this protest. A lot of protests out there, and uh, I, I just think that some of the governors have gotten carried away. I really believe somebody sitting in their boat in a lake should be okay. They shouldn't arrest people. Some of them are being unreasonable. I really believe that. It's unbelievable how individual liberty is considered more important than the life of their people. However, let's take a look at what Malaysian expert and citizen have to say regarding this matter. Bila kita sebut dari segi kuarantin dan lockdown, kita kita perlu bekerja dalam multi prongs. Kita tak boleh fokus hanya pada satu. Maksudnya, okay, contoh kalau kuarantin, kuarantin memang perlu bagi siapa-siapa yang balik daripada overseas yang kita tak tahu sama ada mereka ini terdedah kepada COVID-19 ataupun SARS-CoV-2. Mereka mungkin sudah terjangkit tapi belum menunjukkan tanda-tanda lagi. Jadi, mereka yang balik daripada Obviously harus di kuarantin dahulu, okay? Itu nombor satu. Tapi kalau kita kuarantin saja pun tidak 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 menjamin penyakit tidak merebak, okay? Itu sebab kita perlu ada social distancing, um, kita perlu ada penutupan sekolah, kita perlu ada pengawalan pergerakan, penutupan industri-industri yang tidak penting. Itu uh, di bawah MCO Movement Control Order ataupun PKP Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan kan? So, uh, semua itu penting Kuarantin penting Isolasi penting MCO penting 
Uh, dan kita tidak apa yang kita tengok ia seumpama ranting-ranting yang besar kita halus kalau ini yang, yang saya tengok analogi yang telah diceritakan oleh uh, dalam satu artikel yang saya, saya share dalam Facebook itu kita patahkan ranting-ranting ini contohnya kalau ada kes yang yang merebat dalam komuniti kita potong menggunakan proses isolasi quarantine for those of you who don't know there is a mandatory 14 days quarantine Uh, for anyone coming into the country right now and basically before uh, the moment you get off your plane before you even go through immigration uh, you have to do a nasal and throat swab test and then uh, all your luggage and backpacks get sanitized and then they cart you off to a quarantine center so the in total like the whole thing took about five hours for me which is a really long process but Um, everyone was really patient and understanding. So I want to say thank you to the frontliners. I arrived last night at 5 a.m. So it was really late, but they were also nice still. And also, good job to the Ministry of Health of Malaysia. You know, we're such a small developing country, but I think we're handling the pandemic a lot better than most developed country. Like I got off a plane in Chicago and they just released me to the public without anything. I mean, they didn't even check for my temperature. So I'm really proud of Malaysia's effort. Malaysia has proven its unity despite being a smaller developing country. The cooperation of its people have been considered the major contribution of the lowering rates of infected cases in Malaysia. Despite the challenge that Malaysia experienced in the early stage of the pandemic, the contribution and responsibilities displayed by the ministers, frontliners and the citizens has proven that we as a nation care about the life of our people. Remember, kita jaga kita. My name is Al. And I'm Hazi. Remember, Remember to, to stay, stay at home and stay, and stay safe. safe.